morning. Today is Friday, January 10th, and we have a birthday. Today is Doug Stetzer's birthday, and I know I'm saying your name wrong, Doug, but he's from over from Joan's Pointed Plate. Today's Doug's birthday, and her Joan was making him a delicious looking cake yesterday. It was like I'm thinking I'm going to take a plane to New Jersey. Hop in. I think she lives in New Jersey. I'm going to take a plane over to her house and have a piece of that cake. It was really good. But, Doug, you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Doug. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, have a great day, Doug. You have a great wife. You have a great family. I love watching the boys when they come on. They just, I, I just love it. I just love it. Um, but anyway, um... It kind of reminds me, because I love birthdays. My family, we're celebrating my uh, sister's birthday this month. My sister's going to be 62 on the 25th of January, so we're going to be celebrating her birthday at the end of the month. And that just reminds me of how blessed I am in my life. I, uh, I struggle with my weight, as we all that are on a weight loss journey do. They str we struggle. But sometimes you just got to take a step back and realize how blessed we are with the things in our life. Um, our family really doesn't care that we're overweight. I mean, they would like us to be healthy. They really would. But uh, if they have to choose between not having you here or having you here heavy, they're going to always pick heavy. But if they could choose between you being healthy and heavy, they're going to always choose healthy. So um, you just have to remember that there's so many things in life that you're so happy and blessed with that it's just... This weight loss journey is just a small scheme of things in the whole, you know, like the, if you think about the whole scheme of life. Um, it's just I have so many things to be blessed. I am blessed with so many things. I have a family that loves me. Um, I have um, a, a good home. I have a good husband. I, I just have so many good things. So the, 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 and the fact that I have the money to help me lose weight is another good thing, you know. So it's just... Count your blessings, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Because if, if you look at life, you probably have more than you really think you deserve. And I know that I have in life more than I think I deserve. And uh, it's not to say that I don't deserve it, but uh, I don't ever want to take it for granted. I really don't. I, um, I did get on the scale this morning, which I probably shouldn't have done. And it shows that I gained a pound. I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand that because I've really been pretty faithful with this uh, program this week in my menu. I'm not going to let it discourage me. I'm not going. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not going to be discouraged. I, I know I tell you all the time that your weight fluctuates for various reasons, and um, who knows? There's a reason my weight fluctuated a little bit this today. I think that it might be the fact that it's not used to me eating so much. But even though it's healthy, I'm eating more than I normally do. And I think it's just going to take a couple weeks for my body to adjust. And we have to remember that sometimes when we're first starting on a program. Because we'll think, you know, I'm doing so well. I'm eating less. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And how come I'm not losing weight faster? And we just have to know our body's going to, our body's going to repay us. Sometimes they might think that you're tricking them. They're going to think, oh, you know what? Sandy's played this game with me before. And I don't know that I want to play it again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So your body's thinking, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. So I'm gonna prove to my body that I that I mean business this time. And no matter what the scale says tomorrow, I'm not gonna let it set me off track. I'm still gonna follow my menu plan. I'm still gonna eat my three meals a day. I'm still gonna eat healthy, and uh, and I still know that I'm gonna I'm gonna reach my goal this year because you just have to believe in yourself. And I know you're probably getting so tired of seeing that believe in yourself at least someplace in my video. I do that more for me because when I'm editing and I put that in there, it, it really reminds me that, you know what, you have to believe in yourself. You think you're losing this weight for other people. And, you know, really, the only way you're going to succeed is if you lose it for yourself. You're the one that has to carry your body everywhere you go. And so do it for yourself. And if you do it for yourself, you have a little bit more pride. You really do have a little bit more pride in your accomplishment. And... I'm really proud of the fact that today is the 10th of January, and I'm still on my program. Uh, if you followed me for a while, you know that sometimes I kind of stray off. I, I'm really faithful to it for three or four days, and then I kind of go, ah, let's take this road, you know. But uh, 
And unfortunately, the roads I take are the ones that are not less traveled. <laughs> They're traveled by me quite a bit. And uh, I, uh, I have to stop. I have to find the road that's less traveled and, uh, for me and get on that road because uh, that's going to be the road that's going to lead me to um, success. I know I talk in riddles sometimes. I have a warped brain. It, it kind of, you have to understand me to know me. And uh, sometimes I don't know me either. I, I can say things and people will say, what is she talking about? I know what I'm talking about, although sometimes I don't convey it. But anyway, the whole nutshell of the whole thing, put it in a nutshell, is that uh, just appreciate all the things you have in life. Appreciate your blessings in life. And um, just know that this is going to be the best year ever. And here goes all my clocks. We haven't changed the Christmas music over yet, so we have to get that going. So, um... Plus, I have to have my other clock home. I got another clock for Christmas. You can never have too many clocks. I should find out why it is that I need so many clocks. Is it because I think that I'm running out of time? No, I know I've got plenty of time. Well, nobody knows that they have plenty of time, but, you know, I do feel like I have plenty of time. But I do know that it's time for me to reach my goal this year. Maybe when the clocks are going off, it's reminding me. This is the year. This is the time. You can do it. You will do it. I know you will. I believe in you. Okay, I'm going to eat my breakfast now. Um, this is a cream of wheat bread that I made with um, this particular brand of cream of wheat. Uh, the recipe is, uh, I put a link to the recipe below. Uh, I got it from Dish with D, and uh, if she does it, four points. Mine came out to six points because I thought I had the uh, brown sugar substitute, but I had to use regular brown sugar, so that added two points to it, but it's uh, six points. So I started my day with a prayer. Today is January 10th. My quote is, if you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, You'll never have enough. That's by Oprah Winfrey. Uh, it's 23 smart points, zero for my egg, berries, and my tea, and six points for my cream of wheat bread. I'm just going to eat it like that. I'm not going to put anything on it. So I still have 17 points left for the rest of my day. But like I said, dish with D's recipe, it's, it's only four points. Okay, I have to tell you, this bread is delicious. You have to check out the recipe. But you know what? It's so filling, I only ate half of it for breakfast. So I saved the other half to eat now for lunch. So I'm going to have the other half of my bread. So I'm going to count it as zero because I counted it for six for my breakfast and zero for my apple and zero for my orange. So I have a zero point lunch. Um, I still have 17 points left for dinner. I'm going to have my cup of tea with my cup that Jones Pointed Plate made me. Let's get fit with Sandy. Okay, for dinner, I'm going to have tuna sandwich with some cucumbers, crackers, and some sugar-free jello. I used the Extreme Wellness Wrap. I made my drink with the Simply Light Lemonade, and 8 ounces, and then the rest in diet cranberry juice. I used a tablespoon of Miracle Whip. I have six of these crackers, and I used this little tiny can of bumblebee tuna. So it is a... Five point dinner, one point for my extreme wellness wrap, one point for my miracle whip, two points for my crackers, zero for the tuna, the celery, the cucumber, and the jello, and one point for my cranberry juice lemonade mixture. Five points, I still have 12 points left if I want to have a snack later on. Well, the jello was delicious. I don't know how that ever got by me. <laughs> and it's zero points. That's even the better part about it. Um, I always just went for the puddings, I never looked for the jellos. Who knew? And dish with these bread, delicious. I put it up there with my sweet potatoes. Two great finds this week. Two more food choices. Um, it was a little bit full, filling, so that that's why I split it up between two meals. But it was very good. It was so good. Um, I'm going to ask you to say some prayers for my grandson, David. He's in the hospital. He has mono. And he's had it since Christmas. And we thought it was... He was doing better, but uh, he took a turn for the worst, and so I'm a little worried about him. So I'm asking you for your prayers. Um, other than that, I guess I'll talk to you guys in the morning.